Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick start to the AD2, uh, this analog discovery uh, device. So on the top is your USB cable. You need to connect to your PC to transfer data and power it up. And here you have two rows of the pins. We need to use this kind of a ribbon cable, which has the jumpers at the end. And then you can plug some pins to the jumper and then plug so that you can plug it on your PC, uh, on your breadboard so that it can route it. So here, if you check their website or their menu, you can see if the information of these ports is one plus, two plus as the oscillate scope. It has a first channel, a second channel, and then this kind of arrow is like a, a ground. You have uh, two pairs of the ground. And this is your uh, power supply that programmable. You can change this with the software. And also here, uh, this is uh, it has two parts of the waveform generator. And then at the end, there are some digital I/O signals which are programmable. Uh, first, you need to install uh, the the waveform, the app. Uh, I guess you can download it here through software uh, waveform. You can just uh, download it. So here it is. So if you connect to that, uh, you should have this kind of GUI. So basically here, set up your uh, power supply from that two pins that I just uh, showed you. Uh, but uh, today I'm going to show you the example of uh, how to uh, marry the impedance of a certain uh, resistor. So basically you need to use a function that is uh, the impedance here. So it looks so fancy at the beginning, but if you go to the uh, meter here, it's going to uh, let you marry the uh, impedance. But for us, because it's a resistor, it's a DC, like we want to marry the constant uh, voltage. So here change it to DC and we use a uh, constant voltage to marry that. So here for the voltage, you can choose either uh, 200 or 100, doesn't matter. And here, uh, this uh, tells you what kind of the pattern you want to build your circuit. So if you look at here, the top pin is the W1, which is a, a support of the waveform generator. And then DOT is the device under test. So you want to put two pins, which is one, uh, so the wave uh, the oscillate scope of channel one plus and two plus across that. And then you have a resistor, which is as your reference resistor. So for this example, we put a 1K ohm resistor. So basically we know the value, the resistance of the resistor, we put it here and then plug another uh, resistor that we don't know the resistance so that we can does the device just to calculate the ratio of the uh, voltage across this two and then give you the value? What is the uh, resistance of the device under test? So we can build a circuit um, like this on our breadboard. Now let's uh, do it. Okay, this is a breadboard. So basically, for the breadboard, you should know which pins are connected. If you look at the very left or uh, on your side, it's the very right side. This is, your, this is your power supply uh, column. Lines here are connected together, they're shorted. And then the second uh, column, they're also shorted, it's uh, another ground line. And then inside it is a signal line. The rows are connected together. Like for this five, they're connected together. These five are connected together. The second row, this row, they're connected together. These five are connect, connected together. And then we can build our circuit. So let's see, let's look at the at schematic. The very top one is W1. For all the pins you are going to use, it's kind of the first uh, six pins on the top uh, row. So we can just uh, plug all the top six pins on our breadboard. So if you look at here, these are the top six pins. So we can plug on our breadboard. I should plug it to the signal part. Okay, now you see here, the first uh, row here is the signal number, uh, pin number six, which is uh, it's a ground. The second row here is referred to the fifth pin, which is W1, and uh, which is this yellow, 
wire. And then the third row is our uh, V plus, so the red one is a, a power supply. But, uh, but in this example, we're going to use uh, W1 first because W1 is connected to the top. So basically it means the second row, all the pins, all the holes here belongs to W1. But you see here on the, on, in, in this part is a kind of crowded. So we can route it to the, to the part on your right to, uh, to get a, a larger space. So what we can do is I find a dumper wire. We can route it out. Now you see here we connected connected this pin. The the, the W two at the second row to the part uh, to the to the second row on the right. So basically all the uh, all these rows are connected together. So all these pins also belong to W two. Now let's continue. So W1 is also connected to one plus the channel one. So channel one is the first pin, which corresponding to the orange uh, wire. And so here is a sixth row here. So we also, we, we also need to route it out like this. So now this row uh, is also connected to one plus. So, but if you look at our uh, schematic, one plus and W1, they are connected together. So we need another uh, jumper wire to connect it, the second row to the sixth row because they, are, they should be shorted together like this. Next, we have the, the bottom side of the uh, device under test, which should be uh, the pin two plus. Two plus is uh, the fifth row. It's uh, something like it's here. So you see here, well, it's already crowded enough in this space. We can route it downwards, um, something like this. So you see here is a fifth fifth row. I route it to this row. So this row is also the pin uh, two plus. So it's a second a positive channel of the oscillate scope. And then I can route it to the right side to make it easier like this. So now this row will be our uh, new two plus channel because I route the two plus from here, from this row to, the, to this row, and then route it to this row. Okay, we have two plus now. We need to find where's the ground. So ground should be the very uh, top length because uh, ground uh, is either uh, the third pin or the, the sixth pin. So, so this black uh, wire uh, stands for the ground. So here, this row is also ground. So we can put the uh, ground out. So now the first uh, row here is our ground. Okay, next we need to find our uh, 1K ohm resistor as the reference resistor uh, in the circuit. You can find the resistor in your uh, components package. So the way you read the value of the resistance uh, is through this color band. So if you Google color band, you can find uh, this kind of web website and also this uh, picture, how you can read the value. So for this 1K ohm resistor, uh, it has uh, uh, four bands. The first uh, band's color is brown. The second uh, band color is black. Third is, uh, is red. Last uh, band is gold. So if you look at this uh, picture, the brown stands for one. So the first band stands for the value of one. Second band is black. Black stands for zero. So the first two bands stand for one zero. The third band is, stand, uh, is red, so it stands for two. If, you, if it's a four uh, color band resistor, the third stands for the multiplier. So which means we have the brown, which is one, black is zero, and then the third one, the red, is the multiplier. So if it's a multiplier, 
the red one stands for 100. So which means the resistance is one zero times 100, which is 10 times 100, which is 1K. And the last uh, gold band stand for the uh, tolerance is a 5%, which means uh, the resistance could be changed um, within the 5% range with that, that kind of error. So it's either like uh, 150 ohm to uh, 1050 ohm. So now we can plug in our circuit. So if you look at our circuit back, the one K ohm resistor is between two plus and ground. So two plus is here. Uh, ground is the top one. So one K ohm resistor is here. And then the device under test uh, should be between one plus and two plus. So I'll just uh, pick up another resistor randomly. I didn't check the, the, the color band. And that's just a plug in and see what's the value of that. Uh, it should be between one plus, two plus. One plus uh, is uh, the last uh, row. So one plus uh, is also shorted to W1, as they are both uh, one plus or W1. And then two plus, we just they cut it here. So now we already build the circuit. Then we can go back to the waveform where I'm measuring uh, uh, resistance. We can choose resistance here. We already built a circuit like this. We can just click run. Now we have the resistance. Here, run is kind of you keep the running. Single is it just uh, get one sample of the output. It shows it's a 1.2K. Uh, let's verify if it is a 1.2K resistor. So this is a, a resistor that I just plug in. If you read the, uh, the band here, uh, the first color is a brown. The second color is, is red, and third one is also red. So which means brown is one, red is two, and third is a multiplier, which is 100. So it's uh, 1,200. Now let's uh, try another one. Like in here, this is, uh, put it in, I click the single. It shows it's 10K. You can read the band. The first is a brown, the second is black, it's one zero, and then third is orange. Orange is uh, three or 1,000. So in this case, it's 10 times 1,000, which is 10K ohm resistor. So now you know how to use a, a waveform to get the impedance of the uh, unknown resistor, and also how to build a simple circuit with your uh, components and breadboard.